Sometimes when you watch videos, it's nice to have the closed captions at the bottom, you know, to be able to follow along and make sure that you know all of the words that are going on. But some videos don't have it and real life doesn't have it either. So what if real life came with closed captions? Well, whenever you use Google Slides, now there's an option to be able to do that. It's called live closed captions and it puts captions right at the bottom of your slides as you talk live. It's pretty cool and I'll show you how it works. I'm Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook. Let's get started. So Google has released this feature for Google Slides called Live Closed Captions. Basically what it does is once you start a new slide presentation, there's a little caption button down at the bottom and your microphone, once it's started, your microphone will listen to your voice, will translate it into text words and put them down at the bottom of the screen immediately. And of course this is huge for a variety of different audiences in the classroom. It's big for people who have a hard time hearing, so now they'll be able to see the words right away on the screen. It's big for the people who don't speak English as their main language or have a hard time understanding English. And it's even really good for whenever you're in a really noisy, noisy area. So let's take a look on the screen at how this looks whenever it's running. So I've got some slides up here from a presentation that I do on sketch notes. And so all I really have to do here is just hit the present button and use presenter view. And so when I pop that up, you'll notice that I have this one little window right here. That's my presenter screen, but then I've also got the screen back behind with all my slides on it. So imagine putting the slot, the screen with all the slides on it up on a projector where everybody can see it. So from here, whenever I bring my pointer down just a little bit further, you'll see the toolbar and then here's closed captions. And so if I click on captions, now you'll start to notice that it's live converting my spoken words into text words at the bottom of the screen, period. <laughs> I'm so used to talking to text that I accidentally put the punctuation there at the end. But you can see how easy it, it, it is. Now, the punctuation isn't there, the capitalization isn't there, and sometimes it will misunderstand certain words. So as long as you prompt the students or you prompt your, your group on what that might look like, then it's really not a big deal and they can take as much away from it as they possibly can. So we'll disable it right there. I've been thinking about how this could be really useful for us in the classroom. And I think there are a couple of places where this could really play in. Number one is if we do video calls. So imagine you're doing a mystery Skype or a mystery Google Hangout with another class and you're presenting something to them. You know, for me, I know when I was in the Spanish classroom teaching Spanish, sometimes we would do video calls with another class in Valencia, Spain, which was so cool. But of course they were learning English as a second language there. So imagine if we had some slides that we wanted to show them, we were able to put it up there and we were able to create these live captions that showed the English. It doesn't translate into another language, at least not yet, but if we were able to put those captions down at the bottom, it would make things a lot easier for those Spanish speakers to, to pick up on that second language. I could also see this as a really good advantage whenever you're creating screencast videos. So same sort of deal. If you have some slides and you wanna record your screen, students can do this to present things like oral reports instead of doing them in front of the class. They just record the screen with their slides on it, turn those captions on, and now they're available immediately just like that. I could even see using it just for the captions. You know, even if you don't have a ton of slides to present to students, if you put a single slide up there on the screen, it could even be a blank slide or a certain chart or a graph that you're gonna be referring back to or maybe your notes for the day or something. If you've got that one, that one slide up on the screen and just leave it up there, turn your closed captions on, and now at least the students have the benefit of having those, those captions behind you. Now looking at the support article on Google's website, it does mention that there are a couple of things that you wanna let your uh, audience, be it students or adults or whatever, 
know about these captions. One is that it's not actually part of the video call or teleconferencing platform. So uh, for them to know that and that it's actually coming from slides is, is a good thing for them to know. Another thing you might do is to ask the group that you're gonna be presenting to if those captions would be distracting or helpful. So if you have a majority of them that think it would be distracting, maybe not a good idea. And then finally, the other thing is that it will only pick up the speaker's voice. So you've gotta be pretty close to the microphone for it to pick up your voice. So there you have it, super easy to use. All it takes is just a button. And this one feature can be really big, especially for students that have accessibility issues or have trouble understanding. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up on YouTube and consider subscribing to the channel to get even more great videos just like this. We'll see you on the next video.